Hello friends, welcome to ProTalent and this is our April 2018 module. Okay, this is for the current affair. I'm sure you all have been prepared for a good time. Some of you might have appeared for CLAT. Some of you might have appeared for Christ University or Symbasis University. You will be going to the exams well. And uh, some of you will have a paper for EILT tomorrow. And uh, uh, then possibly uh, your preparation must be very good. So this is a small support from our side for April month. This is a mix of two weeks. Okay, so please go through that one by one. India's representative for UNESCO will be Professor J S Rajput. Okay, याद रखिएगा he is a famous uh, educationist and he has a tenure for four years. In case that is acceptable. Coming to question number two, Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai visits her Pakistan hometown. Okay, so what you need to remember here is what is the hometown of Malala, which is Mingora in Swat Valley in Pakistan. She got Nobel Peace Prize in 2012. उस समय पे इंडिया में से भी कैलाश सत्यार्थी साहब को भी नोबेल प्राइज मिला था कैलाश सत्यार्थी इज द पर्सन हु रन्स बचपन बचाओ आंदोलन ओके कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री नॉर्थ कोरिया इज कमिटेड टू सेंड नॉर्थ कोरियन टीम्स टू टोक्यो एंड बीजिंग ओलंपिक्स आईओसी दैट इज इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमिटी के चीफ है थॉमस बाग ये नाम याद रखेगा सो so, प्योंगचेंग में जो विंटर ओलंपिक्स हो रहा है ओके okay? Pyeongchang, okay. This is a Pyongyang. Pyongyang is the capital of North Korea. Seoul is the capital of South Korea. This is Pyongyang, and the Winter Olympics are being held at Pyeongchang. So next Olympics are going to be held at Tokyo, while Winter Olympics are going to be held at Beijing. Okay. Coming to question number four. April fourth is the day which marks 50 years of assassination. of american civil rights activist martin luther king junior he was uh, you can say young age he was assassinated and he was shot dead at the age of 39 he gave a famous speech that is i have a dream no blacks and whites are coming together so ye blacks or whites ki kafi ladai hui thi i hope you remember that abraham lincoln uh, he fought a civil war uh, in america which was against the Slavery, जो South America था, that was in favor of uh, slavery, while North America was against the slavery. और ये लड़ाई करके North America का वर्चस्व हो गया पूरे America के अंदर. And they removed slavery. But after removal of slavery, the discrimination continued. And it is because of this gentleman it created lot of impact in America. Coming to number five, this is a very important question in the exam. Cool EMS service. is between india and japan this is a one way service from japan it is we can say customers of india will be allowed to procure food that's called cool ems service the refrigerated boxes is ke andar ye food uh, japan se india mein aayega coming to number 6 anti ragging toll free helpline number will be available in 12 languages there is a website there is toll free number So all those things you need to remember. Coming to number seven, International Solar Alliance and India signed host country agreement at New Delhi. So ISA is an international treaty. It is an international organization, and it is the first organization which has a headquarter in India. कोई पहला international body है जिसका India में headquarter available है. So that is International Solar Alliance. India signed host country. Agreement. So ISA, this agreement, करने के बाद uh, ISA will have a juridical uh, personality. That means it will have a power to do a contract, and more importantly, it will be in a position to purchase properties and you can say do some legal activities. So that is very important thing. Number eight, Chandra Bhushan Kumar has been appointed as a Deputy Election Commissioner. So I'm sure you know Chief Election Commissioner. Okay. So please give me answer in the comment section. Coming to number nine. Russia successfully tested its latest intercontinental ballistic missile called Sarmat. Its name is Sarmat. जो पहले उनकी heaviest ICBM थी, उसका नाम था Satan. That's a Western countries ने उसका नाम दिया था. Sarmat is around 200 metric ton. It has a higher range than Satan. It's a nuclear 
capable as well. So it can carry nuclear warhead as well. Coming to number 10, Pacific garbage patch, which is in the Pacific Ocean, California or Hawaii Island. Ke beech mein hai ye. It's the largest collection of ocean trash. Okay, it is growing in a big way and that is creating trouble. It is an estimated to be 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic weighing 80,000 metric ton. Okay, and it is growing in a big way. It is to be size of three times the size of uh, France. Number 11, I, UIDAI introduced facial authentication and it will be effective from July 1, 2018. Currently, it is fingerprint, iris. These two things are working. There is one more thing they introduced called OTP, which is a 16 digit OTP. Now it is a facial recognition, will also be part and parcel of it. Number 12, Australia got into big trouble with a ball tempering when this, you can say, cricketer. So when this person called Bancroft uh, got into uh, this ball tempering, uh, he rubbed the sandpaper on the red cherry uh, during the third day of the third test against the South Africa at the Cape Town. Okay. So that's how Steve Smith, David Warner uh, got into trouble. They got one year back. Number 13, India's first underwater tunnel for Howrah Kolkata Metro is to be completed very soon. It's a twin tunnel, 3.5 km long. So, this is India's first underwater tunnel. Hoga. Number 14, Ministry of Human Resource Development approved Study in India program. Study in India program is primarily to attract foreign, uh, you can say, students to you can say come and study in India. It is basically for the brand promotion. 150 crore rupees will be you can say utilized. Number 15, Kaziranga National Parks rhino population rises by 12 in three years. Currently, its head count is 2,413. It is UNESCO's World Heritage Site. Okay, this is a natural world heritage site. Yad rahe, India mein total seven UNESCO ki World Heritage Site hai, or ek mixed site hai, theek hai? that is what you should be knowing and cultural there are 36 sites are there and there is only one city which is heritage city and that is called Ahmedabad okay so Ahmedabad is the only city in our country which is UNESCO ki heritage city mein uska naam aata hai coming to number 16 national annual rural sanitation survey was released according to that Kerala and Mizoram topped the state while UP and Bihar they were at the bottom okay now this survey was conducted because it is the requirement of the world bank primarily we need money from the world bank and therefore this survey is needed coming to number 17 second highest tibetan spiritual guru uh, that is after dalai lama dalai lama ke baad jo second highest position hoti hai that is called karmapa 17th karmapa this is ojin dorje who lives in gyuto monastery in Siddhubar in Dharamshala is allowed to visit Sikkim. This person will be visiting Sikkim, but he will not be in a position to visit Rumtek Monastery, jahan pe unko abhi access nahi mila hai. So that's a disputed place. Uh, uh, us area mein uh, Dalai Lama or Karmapa visit kare, that may create trouble to India-China relationship or us purpose ke wajah se inko ban kiya jata hai. Number 18, Nepal Prime Minister Karga Prasad Sharma Oli, KP Sharma Oli is a new Prime Minister after the new constitution again and he visited India. This uh, uh, India and Nepal Prime Minister, they have inaugurated integrated check post in Birgunj in Nepal. Okay. Apart from that, they also witnessed groundbreaking ceremony of Motihari Amleganj cross-border petroleum product pipeline at Motihari in India. Number 19, India is world's second largest producer of crude steel, which is by overtaking Japan. Uh, China is the largest producer, while India is now number two. We have replaced Japan. Number 20, government bans import of hormone called oxytocin. It causes hormonal imbalances and shorten the lives of milk animal. And therefore, India had banned this, you can see, import of oxytocin. Number 21, National Maritime Day is observed every year on 5th April. This is to commemorate the maiden voyage of first Indian owned ship called SS Loyalty by Sindhya Team Navigation Company. And that is the National Maritime Day is observed on 5th April every year. Coming to number 22, two 
Korea have decided to meet you can say together and it is a kind of first inter-Korean summit it is planned on April 27 okay so the meeting was between Mr. Kim and Mr. Moon will be the third of its kind and will be followed by a talk with US President Donald Trump. Number 23, Union Cabinet decided to right size Competition Commission of India. Competition Commission of India has currently seven people and now they want to reduce it to some round four. We can say members will be part of it. Number 24, so one million solar study land were distributed. Uh, some round, uh, the project is 70 lakh. A solar study lamp to be distributed in Assam, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, and Uttar Pradesh. Okay, ye doza sola mein target kiya gaya tha, aur ye number thora bad gaya, and that way it has got to be good one. Okay, so we are targeting 70 lakh. Possibly it will go to some around one CR, and out of which some around 10 lakh have already been, you can say, distributed. Number 25, I have begin process process to buy 110 fighter jet, which is to the tune of 15 billion dollar huge money again and uh, that is some around 1 lakh crore rupees ka ye pura costing hai 85 percent of this jet plane will be built in india this is very important number 26 iaf will conduct biggest combat exercise along with pakistan and china border and that is called ganga shakti which is a week long exercise ganga shakti india ke fighter plane ki capability check karne ke liye Number 27, Salman Khan uh, gets five year jail term in black buck poaching case and four other were acquitted. And this was by Jodhpur local court. Chief Judicial Magistrate ne the approval diya tha. Again, abhi unki ek tarike se transfer bhi ho chuki hai. So this is a quite old case. Coming to number 28, new president of Egypt. So he got re-elected uh, and this is Abdel Fattah Al-Sisi. He got a lot of votes. So he got 92% vote, Abdel Al Fatah CC. Coming to 29, Geographical Indication Registry has awarded GI tag to Madhya Pradesh for this Kadaknath chicken. Kadaknath chicken is a special kind of breed that is because of its black color, it has more protein and it has iron in it. It has low fat and cholesterol content. Coming to number 30, India's fastest train. Gatiman Express, I'm sure you know this, okay? And it has extended up to Bundelkhand region, Jhansi. 1st April 2018, this Bundelkhand Jhansi tak hi hai, jayega. Question number 31, Russia said that it would expel 150 Western diplomats uh, and it will close US consulate in St. Pittsburgh. It's a kind of tit for tat action. This is in retaliation of expulsion of more than 150 Russian officials by other countries. Now, as a Kyuhua, a Novichok, Kerkek Nervagen, it was attacked in British, British soil, Kyopa, Koyek spy, Usko Marneke, Ye, Ye, Novichok attack Kia Gata, and it is termed as Ye, Russia Nikiata, Iskivaja say, Ye, Bilkul, ban Kardiaga. Number thirty two, Sheshel say no to India's proposal to build military facility at Assumption Island. Assumption Island, a Seychelles में जहाँ पे India के साथ Seychelles ने 20 साल का agreement sign किया था, but it was not ratified. जब ये ratify नहीं हुआ, तो इस purpose की वजह से India का जो hope है naval base जो India के बाहर बनाने का वो पूरा खत्म हो गया. Number 33, stint of uh, R. Chidambaram, who was a, a principal uh, scientific advisor to government, it will be ending now. And we have a new advisor called K. Vijay Raghavan. He was also scientific advisor to A.B. Vajpayee, Manmohan Singh and Narendra Modi. 81 year old Padma Vibhushan awardee person hai ye. Okay. And now we have a new person who is coming as K. Vijay Raghavan. So you have to give me a homework question that Smiling Buddha and Operation Shakti refers to what? Okay. Please ye comment section mein likke batayega. Question number 34. Empowered Expert Committee was set up to select 10 private and 10 public institution of eminence and it is headed by N. Gopala Swami. He was earlier chief election commissioner and now he will be heading this committee by UGC. Okay. So I think with this we will be closing this entire discussion and we are hopeful that you are enjoying this and it is helping you 
in a big way for your preparation okay do not forget to watch our question answer module okay thank you very much and all the best for your exam